This episode of the Godzilla TV show was made possible by Tamworth Snowdome. Should we start? Yeah, I probably should. Why not? Hello and welcome to episode three of Godzilla TV. I can't believe we've made it. Sean, James, James, Sean. All right, Sean. All right, James. Let's get on with the show. Have you noticed we're sitting the other way around? Does that matter? Nah, I think it's all right. We'll stick this way around. Mix it up. Mix and match. Yeah. Uh, What is new on the site? Um, I'll tell you. Go on then. Remember December? December. A couple of months back. Oh yeah, yeah. In back Milton Keynes. They made an edit of December in Milton Keynes. It's pretty good. It's got a Gaza and Ollie and a load of other locals. Sorry we don't know your names. And uh, yeah, it's a good edit. Yeah, it looked alright to me. Yeah. I had a quick squeeze this morning. Pretty solid skills from Gaza, as yep. you'd expect. Ollie Dutton bringing the steez for the double kink. Uh, what else is new? What else is new? I'll tell you what else is new. Mm-hmm. Um, Nichols. Park rooms. How good were they, man? We were talking the other day about how we were so sick of park run edits, GoPro edits are just getting rinsed and it's all the same and they're going to get lost and people aren't going to lose interest. And then they dropped. Like and it's two, just like, in a matter of two days. Yeah. Well, one was Keystone, wasn't yeah. it? And one was... Breck, I think. Breck. Nichols, obviously, is really good anyway. Um, these edits just go to prove it. Well done, Simple Jamie. What was that? Uh, Mrs. Tom Honey. Stephanie oh, yes. Haynes. Right, yeah. Um, honorary right. UK snowboarder Stephanie Haynes is actually Canadian, but she is uh, the girlfriend of Tom Honey, who's English, who now lives out in Canada. Anyway, what happened was we got an edit of Stephanie Haynes doing kind of park runs and stuff in Big White, basically a few places in BC. It was nice, it was a good edit. What an edit. Repping it like, for the girls. Repping for the girls big time. Like, if you, girls, if you're into rail riding, watch this edit, because this is how you ride rails. Uh, what else is new? Um, twice the Ben Kilner, twice the backflip. Two Kilners in one. Yeah, Ben Kilner's backflip, what do you reckon? What do you make of it? Pretty sick. There was two of them for a start, and he didn't grab it, so it was like real slow and smooth and styled out. Yeah. So, are you telling me that a grab's not so good in backflips? Um, I think if you're gonna hook it, a grab's going to keep you nice and tight, isn't it? Yeah. And it's just slow and smooth and didn't so, look forced, really. Yeah, it was nice, silky smooth, wasn't it? Props to Kilner. Props to Kilner. Loving that. So, take note, kids, no grabbing in backflips. <laughs> <laughs> New for 2012, Mr. grabbing's Mr. rubbish. Rubbish. Grabs are so overrated. Oh my, so 2010. Oh. Okay, news. To the news. I did it again. Yeah. <laughs> X Games. X Games, yeah, big news, obviously. Big no event. Brits. No Brits this year. Uh... Jenny Pauly, Fuller was at the hairdressers trying to get her afro tamed, and Nichols were just not allowed in the cool kid gang. Didn't have a leather jacket and a nose piercing. Well, I think the cool kids wanted to let him in the gang, but the uh, organisers said no. The real no, cool kids. No. <laughs> but yeah, it's a shame really because uh, is in practice, we've got videos of him in practice, he was doing really well. But... Yeah. Yeah, turned out access to night. Um, yeah, the story goes Louis Paradis was prepared to give up his place in the X Games Street for Mr. Nichols, but the uh, big boys said no. Yeah, next year, shame. next year, fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, while we're on the subject, Jamie Nichols, mm. Aaron Style unfortunately had a fall. Yeah. Was it in practice or qualifiers? Yeah, or qualifiers practice, for maybe practice? Day before practice. Um, not entirely sure what happened, but I think he either went too big or came off the jump a bit wrong but either way he landed on his back which was a bit sore but apparently he's all right so that's good news at yeah. least but um yeah another shame but uh brits did kill it in the Aaron style but on the commentary front <laughs> so you know we're in there in some sort of so, you know we've got thorny warwood and yeah. jackson that's a podium three there triple hitter <laughs> <laughs> uh, Petu hey, Petu, 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 Petu Groinen. He won with a backside 1260. Flat, not Flat, corked. No corked. Interesting. What do you rank, make of that? Well, from what I understand of Aaron's style, is that you have to have two tricks that are different, so you can't repeat yeah. them. So if you do like, I don't know, a corked 7, do people do cork 7s? Well, anyway, if you do like a cork 7 and a cork 10, 
then they're similar even if one's back turned and one's front side, they're both corked. So it mm. makes sense, I think, if one's flat, one's corked. You get a bit more variety in there. Yeah. Yeah. Bit more air, bit more style. Makes sense. It, it, it's funny actually watching watching it. The the more exciting bit I thought was actually their warm up runs. Yeah. Because obviously they're just gonna throw a method 360 in there and a nice tweet out 540. They actually like, have fun. It's sort of yeah, like what they're wanting to do with the contest, but the judging won't let them do that. Yeah, that it's odd, it's an odd situation, isn't it? But and uh, Sepp Smith won the whole shebang though, didn't he? Yeah, he won the TTR Big Air title for, so, for the year. Does that go all the way back to the one at London Battersea as well? Or Battersea London? Uh, no, because that was a FIS event. This is TTR. So complicated. So complicated. Fat straight Miller. Oh, that, that is the news. Is that all the news? That's all the news. We're done. Jesus Christ. Unless you want to talk about Sean White's 5 Pete. Okay, feedback. We've had feedback. feedback. We've had feedback. How did we, how did we get feedback? It's nice when you get letters, isn't it? It's all right. It's all right. Well, it's not a letter, it's an email. Care to share? Yeah, I will. It's uh, from Mr. Scott Penderman. Oh, of a uh, double front flip flame? Oh, maybe. Nearly a triple front flip flame. That's right. I was yeah. going to say triple, but that sounded wrong to say. But then I realised he did gnarly. do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He says, I love Gunzilla TV. It's my favourite ever. That's being facetious. Thanks, Scott. That's pretty nice of you. Do you have a send in question section? Well, yes, we do. If you did, my question would be, who would win out of a Will Smith off? Between? Between little Will Smith yeah. and big Scottish Will Smith. Well, about 90s America Will Smith. <laughs> the wiggy wiggy wild well. Well, he does continue to say, Sorry, would be, who, who would win out of a Will Smith off? Competing Will Smiths in such events as Wiggy Wild Wild West. Okay. The Fresh Pins of Bel Air, where they have to do the lamest air that looks you, makes you look like a bell. <laughs> or a rap battle to make the best old El Paso snack. <laughs> okay. Anyway, just thinking aloud. Well, Scott, we've had a little think about this, haven't we? Uh, yeah, we have. Who do you think would win? Well, I think I'm going to take the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. You can do the lamest air. Let's examine the evidence. Now, the only time I've ever actually seen Big Will Smith's riding was at the board test last year. When he went massive on that jump. He went so big, he went out of shot. <laughs> you were filming it, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, basically I blew another shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, I guess that was pretty, that wasn't lame. No, that was gnarly. That was gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. Now, little Will Smith, he's not really famed for doing airs, is he? But he does like to tweak it out a bit, the odd method here and there. Yeah. What, what do we think? Well, I think that's legit. I can't imagine uh, 90s America Will Smith doing a badass figure. <laughs> He'd do a lot of this. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Shall we open it to vote? Yeah, let, let's vote. Yeah, let's do that. Vote. Come to the site. Yeah. Here. And vote. Choose your favourite you Will Smith. Big Will Smith or Little Will Smith. Scott continues. Please plug the WBB, in brackets, We Break Bastards show, which is the stupid adventures of Angus and I around Breck. Now they're pretty cool. They only made two, I think, last year. Yeah, I saw a couple of them. They were funny. It's just Angus being Angus and Scott being Scott, yeah, I think. Yeah, a couple of funny dudes, aren't they? Yeah, just letting bore them over, take their lives and documenting it. And then he, he ends, but before I'm reunited with my lover Angus, I'm off to Serbia with the EA Sports and would love to give you the diary cam footage if you would like it. Well, yes, we would, Scott. Of course we'd we like very it. much would like your diary cam footage from Serbia. As we would like anybody else to send us footage for our film for portrait. Yeah, so stop making little internet edits because they're rubbish. Send it to us and we'll make something decent with it. It's going to be all right. It's going to be good. Um, the emails continue. Yeah, we we've had more we've, footage in. We have had more footage. The projects are going up, which is a relief. It's really good. Um, we've had a guy, Oliver Hegarty, who's got a Any really relation? good surname. Um, no, but I, I do actually remember sort of just making accepting his friend request because he had nearly the same name as mine, which I thought was quite good. But apparently he's based on Arlberg this season and they've been filming Where, quite a lot. Where's Arlberg? I think Arlberg's in Austria. Oh, Arlberg, Austria. Mm, could be in Switzerland though. Arlberg, <laughs> <laughs> no. Switzerland. Anyway, they've had lots of snow there and they've been doing lots of filming. He's just got his Canon camera fixed. 
which nice. is good because that means that we'll get some nice, decent quality footage. Wicked. So looking forward to that, Oliver. Thank you for getting in touch. Always welcome to get in touch. The feedback is open. We will obviously discuss whatever you send through. <laughs> so, Sean, cry wank of the week. This week we've got a double header. Yeah, you uh, you found this. So um, tell tell us. What, what is it? What's going on? Well, we're going to go with um, Nova Scotia first. Oh, yeah. And they've made... New a, Scotland. Yeah, New Scotland in Canada. Oh, I like it. As if one Scotland's not enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> you need two of them. Controversial. <laughs> well, anyway, um, Nova Scotia, they're making everyone wear helmets for everything now. Um, really? Yeah, so snowboarding, skiing, jogging, uh, going to bed, uh, skipping. Making the tea. Yeah, washing up. Yeah. If you're a little girl. It's, da- it's a dangerous world out there, Sean, you know. But, but it's not about that. It's more about um, Ski Club of Great Britain posted on the old Facebook. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Nova Scotia made everyone wear helmets. And the world seemed to think it's a wicked idea to make everyone wear helmets for everything. So we get comments like, I think it's compulsory that we should all wear helmets for this. I want to have a headache. And without my helmet on, my head would have probably fallen off. So let's wear helmets for everything. My three-year-old son needs a helmet because I'm worried that he might turn to a homosexual. <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> I've heard that. I didn't wear a helmet and I'm Look fine. at you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a controversial subject, isn't it? Because obviously... Not really. Wear a helmet if you want to wear a helmet. Don't if you don't. And maybe yeah. insurance firms should just say, if you're doing jumps in the park and you don't wear a helmet, your insurance is void. Yeah. And that's that. What do you think? Helmet or no helmet? I think common sense should prevail in these situations because there are so many different things that you can do on a mountain that you can't just say everybody has to wear a helmet because it's silly like just have some common sense if you're hitting a a big icy half pipe in the morning and you're flying 15 feet above it and you're going to come down there's a possibility that you might land on your head wear a fucking helmet but if, if you're cruising round with your mates, just slashing peace and generally larking about, <laughs> as we've discussed before, <laughs> people do still you lark. Don't need to we are helmet, it, do you? It's just it's it. Just have some common sense. I don't people. know. Like, to play devil's advocate, though, if I was going out with my mates, assuming I have mates, yeah, and or they all didn't wear helmets, I think the peer pressure would get to me. I'd probably end up smoking, not wearing helmets. Having a good time, probably drinking, yeah. having unprotected sex. Yeah, it's just a downward spiral. <laughs> exactly. You, you ditch the helmet and next thing you know, you're on crack. I say... <laughs> I say either go with common sense or go with peer pressure. The yeah. choice is yours. I like it. As long as you look cool, that's what it's all about. But then Don't bow to the Nazis. <laughs> Don't be a Nazi. Don't be a helmet Nazi. <laughs> helmet Nazi. Person. Person, people. New Scotland. Who would have thought? <laughs> We'd have needed it. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Thank you. <laughs>